All right, so a quick one for you today at a year eight level, we're gonna be operating with indices. So with indices, we're gonna look at addition. So with addition, you have something like three to the power of two uh, plus three to the power of four equals. What do we do? What do we do? So for this one, for this one, we can evaluate it. We can just get it correct, all right? So with three to the power of two, we use BIMDAS. So three to the power of two is also known as three times three, which equals to nine, okay? So that's our first number. Three to the power of four is three times three times three times three. Three times three is nine times three is 27 times three again equals 81. Done. That's the first one. How else do we do that? Well, let's break this down. Let's break this down again. So when we have 3 times 3, my duster has just broken. So when we have 3 times 3, we'll loop all of that. What do we have? We've got 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 9, 81. Or 27, 27, 27. 7, 14, 21, carry the 2. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 81. And that's how we added them. If we're going too fast, repeat that. Watch it three more times and you will hopefully go, oh, that makes sense. All right, let's go back to this. So our first number is 9. And our next number is 81. What are they doing together? Plus, what's 81 plus 9? 90. There is your answer. Okay? Evaluate means solve. Find the answer. Find the solution. Finish the problem. Done. Right. Now, Let's see if we can break this down a little bit more, okay? How does that become 90? Well, three to the power of two. So three to the power of two, which means three times three, okay? Which means three, three, three. There are three lots of three, which equals to nine, yeah? But let's just continue with these, okay? We've got three lots of them. 3 to the power of 4, all right? Now, 3 to the power of 4, we've got 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, 3 lots of 3, right? 3 lots of 3, we've done that. Okay, we've done that part. But that's saying that there's 3 lots of 3 of 3. So we have to write this 3 more times. So 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, three lots of three of three. Yeah, yeah. And what about three lots of three lots of three lots of three? So we have to do that another three more times. So three lots of three lots of three. And you keep doing it forever. Okay, so. With this one, we've got two, three, and four. We've got this at nine. We've got this at 27. Now, for this one, we had this correct. Now, for the first one, we had nine. So it add, adds up to nine. Then we had another nine. And then we had another nine. Okay? Nine, nine, and nine equals 27. Okay? And then we had another group, and we know that as 27. And then we had another group, and we know that as 27. And we added all those groups up, right? And then we got 81. And then we added all those threes together with these three, and we got 90. 
Now see how long that took us? That took us a long time, didn't it? Writing all these threes down. Okay? Imagine even bigger numbers. We'd be here all day, we'd run out of ink, we'd run out of whiteboard, we'd run out of battery on our iPads, we'd run out of paper in our notebooks, just writing threes all day. All right? Especially if it was to the power of 10. Can you imagine? I don't think we'd have enough time in the day as well. So, we use indices to simplify it, okay, to make it smaller. And then, all we had to do was go 3 to the power of 3, 3 times 3, 9. 3 to the power of 4, times 3, times 3, times 3, 27, 81, and then add them together. Done. Okay? Now, when these numbers get bigger, the calculators become more handy. Let's move on. The next one is multiplication. Now, multiplication is even more hardcore. Or is it? So let's do the multiply section. Let's have a problem. Let's go the same numbers. We've got 3 to the 2 times uh, 3 to the 4. Here's our first indice law. All right? Here's our first indice law. We're going to call this the base number. So label this. That's the base number. Whatever number it is, that's the base number. This we now know as the indice. A little number at the top, little cute little number. A little bird sitting on top of the, the number, right? Pecking at it. Now, if both numbers are the same, Stays the same. But what do we do to the little numbers when we multiply? Here's the indice law one. And I'm going to use algebraic terms. Right? So any base number multiply by that same base, base number. If it has m amount and n amount, what actually happens is they both come together because they're the same. And the M and the N actually add. So let's say we've got these values here. That stays the same. What two numbers add up? That's right. The 2 and the 4. Which equals 6. 3 to the power of 6. Let's prove that theory. Let's prove that theory. So we have 3 to the power of 2. We know that as 3 times 3. How many threes can you see? Two. That's why it's a two. Three to the power of four. Yeah? Just like our last problem. How many threes can you see? Four. And what are they all doing together? Multiplying. How many threes are there all together? Six. That's why it's a six. Now, same rules apply. Same, same rules apply. Okay, I'm going to give you a different answer. I'm going to jumble these around. I'm going to go divide. Here's the next indice law. 3 to the power of 6, 3 to the power of 4. When we have a base number, that's the same. The M and the N subtract. So when we divide our indices with the same base value, the indices subtract. 6 take 4. Oh, we skipped the step, didn't we? What's our base number here? 3. 6 take 4 is 2. Done. That's our answer. Sweet. Cool. Done. Yeah. Cool. Shall we do the theory as well? Let's do the theory. How many 3's are there? 3 times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3. There are six threes there, multiplying all together. Over here we've got 3, times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3. And take that one away. There we go. Four of them. Yeah? Because we're dividing, and our rule is m take away n, well, we don't even have to write that. We just have to take away 4 from here. And we're left with 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 in indice form is 3 to the power of 2. 
Done. All right, that is that one all sorted. So that's our main indice laws. Then you get the tough one. You get this really annoying one. You get three to the power of three to the power of four. Brackets. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, what does that mean? The indice law here is this. X, bracket, three. Sorry, I'm going to use the letters again to make more sense because we can't put values in. M and N. What are these two doing together? Have a think. Pause it and have a think. Write down what you think the answer is. And unpause. What they're actually doing is multiplying. So M times N. Okay? They're not adding, they're times N. So let's, let's show you why. I'll show you why on this board. So let's go inside the brackets. Three times, three to the power of three. We know that that as three times three times three. To the power of four is saying it four times. So we have to write this in total four times. Let's do it. Let's do it just to show you. Three, one more. So four lots of them. So there's one row. Two, three, four lots of the original amount of three times three. Okay? Now, if we follow this law of m times n, we're multiplying three times four. Three times four equals 12. And we keep the same base number, so it'll be three to the power of 12. They're all multiplying together. How many threes do you reckon I wrote down here? Twelve. Let's count them. Three, six, nine, twelve. We're done. We've done it, Pam. We've done it. You're welcome. There are more indice laws, and we'll cover them eventually, very shortly, after these short messages. Hope you enjoyed it.